Hi everyone, this is David and in this video, we'll look at what's new in BARS version 0.7.0 and a couple of things have changed. Uh, they have some new settings for initial prompt and temperature. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, hopefully I'll get to know what that means down the road. Our transcription viewer is available. Select multiple input files. This is highly welcome. Uh, now you can download Whisper CPP models from Hugging Face. Uh, and these are some models created by some fellow uh, called Gja Ganov or something. But I'll show you that in a minute. Use comma as SRT separator, add recording amplitude indicator. This is highly welcome. So I've already downloaded and installed uh, version 0 0.7.0 of Buzz. So I'll just open it up. Uh, and here we go. Uh, so what we have right now here is uh, the latest project that I've been working on and you'll notice that the interface is a little bit different. I can actually maximize this but you see the different statuses of what you're working on. Uh, let's say we decide to clear this. You just need to uh, press on this and it clears. And if you want to add multiple files to have Buzz automatically transcribe that, click on this button and then navigate to the folder with the files you want uh, to uh have added that is multiple files i'm going for audio files here but you can also choose video files or all files so that's really awesome click on open and this is going to load up the tiny transcription interface i'm still not sure why this one has not yet been improved to this level uh, and then uh, once you do that uh, you can come on over here uh, say transcribe uh, or translate depending on what you're looking for and then detect language, uh, I'll leave that as is. And then from the model section, we now have the option to use Whisper or the Hugging Face models. Now, these are a little bit different. If I click on Whisper, we have the different options available here. And you may need to download this if uh, it's the first time you're running Buzz version 0 0.7.0. Uh, and then if you decide to use the Hugging Face models, you'll see that this changes and here you'll need to type in like uh, kind of in this box like just type open or something open AI and then everything is that is going to start populating right here and then you choose the model that you want and it's also going to start downloading uh, uh, right inside there now remember what we talked about the temperature and initial prompt they're somewhere here not sure what they mean uh, but I don't think uh, they're really uh, of major concern. But let's say we want to use the Whisper model and then we go with the base. And then you can have one level timings right here or just click on run. So the one thing that is missing from this particular interface is that we no longer have uh, the export option to text uh, VTT subtitles or SRT subtitles. Uh, and to avoid this taking too long, I'll just close this out and then just use a shorter file. I think this is a shorter file. Yes, this one. Okay, open. Instead of doing a multiple uh, transcribe, but everything is as we want it to be. And then click on run. And once I do that, uh, what happens is that is this particular file is going to be queued. And then you'll see it here and then you'll see the progress on this other side. And this is really awesome, especially if you have a ton of files to have automatically transcribed uh, at one go. You can just populate them and let them uh, be processed as you go on with your other details uh, uh, right along the way. So uh, we're going to wait for it to finish so that we can see what it looks like. Uh, this is what it looks like once it's done. And this particular button here is to open the transcript. You can click on it. It's going to open this particular transcript for you. Uh, so you get these uh, well kind of spaced out. If you use the hugging face model, uh, it's like doing 30 second uh, kind of block of subtitles, which is probably not uh, the preferred version. But once you do this, what you can do is you can see what your transcript looks like right inside here and it looks really good. And then you can click on the export option here. And this drop down gives you the text version, the SRT version and the VTT. You can choose to do or download whatever you want. Let's say VTT. And it pops up and gives you this option save once you do it pops up and gives you the configuration of a web vtt subtitle file looks really really good so you can actually close this and unless you clear the history your file is going to be here 
for you to come back and just double click and then choose to export to a different version. In previous versions, once uh, you file or you chose a particular file format that was done, you had to repeat the process of retranscribing and exporting either the subtitle or even the text file the way you wanted it to be. So that's really and highly welcome uh, in the latest version of Buzz. And if you want to do some real time recording, if I click on the microphone here, uh, you'll notice that now we have the indicator of what is going on and uh, you can choose maybe uh, let's say whatever mic that you have uh, right here. Uh, I'll not use this one because they may have a conflict with what I'm using. Uh, but it's really, really awesome to see that you can use this uh, to uh, when you're doing, you can see the indicator to see if your mic is being picked up and so on and so forth. So those are some of the few things that are new uh, in version 0.7.0 of Buzz, uh, but already a pre-release is going on. Uh, because there are some few issues, especially on the Mac side, uh, that are going on. Hopefully they are fixed. Uh, but as for the uh, Whisper Hugging Face models, you can check them out from the link below. Uh, and they're kind of like, I feel, uh, kind of like stripped down version of uh, the main Whisper uh, that use probably less memory. Uh, less memory, yeah. They look like they're doing that or something. And then, uh, yes, they're actually using less memory and they're a little bit smaller, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so probably they can save you uh, some uh, RAM on your computer and probably be a little bit faster. So you can check them out from uh, the data set I'm, I'm going to leave below uh, from this guy, Gaganov, uh, or whatever, but uh, really doing a good job. He also has a GitHub section for whisper.cpp. That you can also check out. So uh, I believe that's a good breakdown of what's changed or what's new in Buzz version 0.7.0. I hope this video is of value to you. Go try out the multi, uh, for example, the multiple input of files where you can actually just let them populate, transcribe, and then you can make your edits later on. I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.